Okay, we are going to try to show off my Quad Z Auto Align on my Core XY. My printer gets a lot of hate in some of the Facebook groups because uh, some people seem to think that three points is really all you want for a bed. But I think when we have a really big bed like this 500 by 500 Tron XY, it's cool to have a lead screw at each corner. And, uh, and that's what we got. So I've actually been using this and the bed's actually pretty square and level right now. So what I'll do is, oh my God, I got you here. I will take one of these screws and uh, I'll change this corner of the bed. Okay, so now, can you see that? I dropped this one down, okay? Okay. Now, one corner of the bed is obviously low. So what I'll do is we'll come down here. The uh, TFT-70 is really nice. It just lets you, uh, we don't even have to have a printer attached, right? We can go right here, G-code. And then we're gonna enter G-34. Send. And now the printer's gonna home. Try to keep the bed square so you can see what it does. I have two NeoPixel strings, but for some reason the second one's not like mirroring the first. Uh, I'll, I'll, I gotta debug that. Alright, so first we home right in the middle of the bed. Each of the four positions. I don't have the print speed turned up anywhere near as much as I could. I, uh, I, I, I will tune the print speed coming up here. I'm just, just getting it up and running. So right now I'm just getting through calibrations and making sure that everything is set up and functioning. That back that's like right at the edge of the glass I don't want to bring that in like that a little bit I'll we'll go over here and then after we probe the four points it's gonna make a correction to the bed I'll try to have it right here so you can see it start probing them all over again. I think it made the adjustment before it probed that the last time, and then it made the adjustment, then it probed that position. Now it's gonna probe them all in a backwards order. And then, and then if it needs to make another adjustment, then it'll probe them again. So all of the axes are always, are all of the Z steppers are always working together to go up and down, up and down at the four corners. And then after the controller understands what it needs to do to bring it more in line, it brings it more in line. But it never brings or lowers one motor by itself that it would take or flex the bed. And even if it did, it doesn't matter because the bed is on springs. And so it 
could flex if it had to without anything breaking. But the reality of the matter is, is to have four stepper motors for Z and four lead screws doubles down on the amount of linear or the smooth rods on, on the amount of positioning too. So I have a very solid, stable printing service. And uh, I'm really happy with it. And to find something big to print. The, uh, the dimensions of this printer, because it's a LGX extruder, it sticks forward a little bit on the bed, so I can't, uh, I, I can't reach the very, very back of the bed by, uh, I think, 20 millimeters. So I only got like 480 millimeters of build volume on Y, and I got uh, 500 or 510 millimeters of X. I can go off the bed on either direction on X. And, uh, and I have a full 600 millimeters on Z. I can bring the bed all the way down on Z, 600 millimeters down, and it still clears my, uh, my gaming computer down underneath. And, uh, it'll, uh, I also have the, uh, the BTT SB S42B version 2.0 closed loop stepper drivers for uh, X and Y. I wanted so I could put G34 in my start G code and have it do this at the start of every print and I'd never have to worry about my bed being level. But the reality is, is because I, the way I set this up, I put, uh, do, do you see my ends? I have, uh, I, I swapped to T8X from T8X8 to T8X4 anti-backlash are, are lead screws and they have anti-backlash nuts in them and there's four of them instead of two so my bed doesn't really go anywhere on its own so I really don't have to keep resetting or rechecking this after every print I can just uh, set it up once and then it, it should be long wearing even with my cats jumping up and down on it and I got some old, some pretty heavy cats they, it, it doesn't change the bed's position, which is nice. And there we go. And we're ready to print.